scientifically proven that the more we write, the more we learn. There are times we feel that nah, why to waste the time? Let's take the Xerox. Hai na? Aapke dost ne notes hai, aap Xerox hai notes and you have notes and have notes and you 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 have and other important things. Mind maps also will come into this. One chapter you, you give maximum of two pages or one page for sure. Hi there, welcome to Akash Baiju's Need Channel. I'm your teacher Ankita and I welcome you all in today's very important session where we will be discussing about that's how you can make notes for your examination. If you are preparing for JE or NEET, this session is really very important for you because we will be discussing all about notes. What are notes? What are the different types of notes? How you can make notes? And most importantly, what are the mistakes that we should avoid while making the notes? So everyone, please make sure you stay with us till the end because we have so much for us to share with you. So if you are leaving in between, you might miss some of the important information. So please make sure you stay with us. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button for the video. And if you're new here, do take a moment and subscribe to our channel. On that note, let's get started. So when we talk about the notes, right, we know that they are very critical for the examination like NEET and G. And I'm sure you would have heard a lot of people telling you that make notes, they are very important. And there are times we ask ourselves, why notes are important? So let me answer that question first. Notes are really very important because they help us in the revision and they play a very important role in learning. So let's break it out, right? So when you write or when you have your notes and be just before your examination, they actually help you to revise. It's a concise information that you have it with you that you can actually take and roam around. And it is really very good to recap or to revise. So it plays a very important role in the revision just before the examination. And most importantly, here's something which is scientifically proven that the more we write, the more we learn. So if you're solving a question or if you're writing an answer or if you're writing a concept, you will remember that concept for the longest time. So the more you write, the more you learn. So please make sure to take a note of these two important points. Now that we are clear that why the notes are important, let's quickly dive into the different types of notes we have. We have two types. We have long notes and short notes. We'll be discussing about the long note first. So let's start. When we talk about the long notes, right, they are the regular detailed notes that we write. Now, where are we writing? Of course, we should be writing it in our notebook. Why I'm saying notebook? Again, it's a very, very important scientific thing, which is proven. Now, if you're writing your notes, right, in a digital electronic uh, device like iPad, tablet, you might miss it. So when you're writing in your notebook, you know, you have the pen, you have the smell of the notebook with you. And of course, you are writing it down. Your senses are all working together. So you will be able to retain this information for a longer time as compared to the digital notes. So please make sure go to the shop, buy a notebook and start writing. Talking about writing, when you're making your notes, please make sure to use not more than two pens. Of course, we'll use our favorite blue pen, right? And you can use any other pen, black pen, and sometimes red pen to highlight the important words. Now, this, of course, will be talking in detail, but this is a very important reason for all of you to go today and buy a notebook so that you can actually write your notes. Moving to the next very, very important thing or, you know, very important point that we have is to use the off the flow chart and the diagram. I'm sure you would have seen we have such a, a long chapters, right? We have chapters which are 15, 20 pages. To concise it, when you are making notes, try to make notes in a form of flow chart. Like this we have over here, the structure of cell, we have cell boundary, protoplasm, we have divided it in such a way that we have the information with us. And more further, you can break it down and then write the important points. So, the effective notes that you're making, right, are the notes that you understand. So make flowcharts, right, use the handmade diagram. If you can draw the diagram, well and good. Make a diagram and write the important points around it. In this way, 
you will be able to retain that information for the longest time, right? You will remember, okay, which part is over here, what is the important um, function that it has. So, uh, point number two is to use the flow charts, diagrams, formula sheets, and other important things. Mind maps also will come into this. Moving next, let's talk about something which is very, very important. There are times we feel, ke, ah, why to waste the time? Let's Take the Xerox, है ना? आपके दोस्त ने notes बनाए हैं और आप उसका Xerox लेके बोलोगे हमारे पास सब दम बढ़िया notes हैं. Notes वो होते हैं जो हमें समझ में आएं. And you will understand the notes the best if you are writing in your own words. For example, if I'm writing about the cell, instead of writing the bookish language that we have, I can break it down into the points in my own language and I can use the short forms. For example, let's suppose we have the word concentration. So I can write C-O-N-C, -C, concentration, maximum, minimum. I'm sure you would have seen this. All of these are the important short form. So point number three talks about that. When you're writing the notes, try to write in your own words, in your own language. For example, whatever you understand, just write in your own words. Most importantly, everyone, remember this thing that your notes are for you to revise. It's, it will not be going for an auction, ke best notes of the world. So notes apne liye banaiye, jo aapko samaj mein aaye. Or short forms use, use kijiye jo aapko samaj mein aaye. Very, very important. So point number three was that. Moving to the point number four. Jaha pe baat ki thi, different pens ki. So use different color pen to highlight the important words. Notes apne bana liye hain. Or sab achche se ho gaya hai. Revise karte time, you can highlight the important points that are there. That actually help you to remember the important points. Wo jo word aapko hamesha dik jayega. Right? And ya aapko easily uh, re recall bhi ho jayega when you are writing in the examination. So, use different colors to highlight the important points. Iske alawa, a bonus tip. Hum aise boxes bana sakte hain. We can put the star mark or the double tick. Double tick technique hai, jo batati ki agar do bar agar tick dikha, to kya hoga pata hai? Your brain will say, oh, we know this concept. So, use such thing that will be able to help you to recall things better. Now that we are clear with this, right, if we quickly recall about our long notes. Hume pata hai ki yeh regular notes hai, detailed me likhne chahiye humko, hume apni notebook me likhna hai inko, we have to write in a notebook. Please make sure you're writing with these notes in your own language, use of different color pens to write and highlight the important points, right? And use of the short words and, you know, the short forms that actually can help you to concise the topic. Use of a flow chart and the diagrams uh, or the mind maps and other techniques that we have. So that's all about the long notes. Let's talk about the short notes. Short notes is shorts, right? Or we can say short notes are short notes. Now let's discuss about the short notes. Short notes mean we just have two very important things. Short notes, very important thing. If you're making short notes, remember that you have to make the notes of one chapter either in one page or the two page. Let's suppose you have a big A4 sheet paper or if you have a notebook, right? If you have a notebook and let's suppose you have this page of a notebook. Then you start from here, the important topics, right? Break it down, what are the first topic that you have, the important points in, into that. Second topic, important points. Third topic, important points. And try to write or try to summarize a whole chapter in this particular way. One chapter you, you give maximum of two pages or one page for sure. In this way, what will happen? You will be able to recall the whole chapter by just looking at the one page of your notebook. That's such an easy thing, right? During the revision, these notes will come really very handy for you. And short notes are really very helpful just before the examination. 10 days before the examination, month before the examination. Now, you cannot sit and make long detailed notes just before two months or three months before the examination also. Because we have such a huge syllabus be it in physics, chemistry, or in biology, or in maths also, right? So it's very important for all of us to have the short notes. For maths people, right, we have the formula sheet, right? All the important formulas. So that actually helps. So in short notes, one of the important thing, 
one chapter and one page and most importantly only important points in line now when you're making the short notes you don't have to elaborate you don't have to write the theories you just have to write the important line or important word that will remind you of that particular concept so in this way what will happen you will be able to recall things really very easily just before your examination so we have discussed about the two types of notes long notes and short notes i hope that you have got an understanding about it you'll be like yes ma'am we this information we already know there are times even if we know the information there are various mistakes that we are doing that can cause a little bit of hurdle in our journey so let's see what are the mistake that you should be avoiding if you are making the notes and if you are preparing for j or neat first important thing everyone while making the notes don't spend your time in beautifying it right ki nahi main pehle rough mein likhunga ya fir rough mein likhungi fir main fair mein karungi no you don't have time for that so write directly the notes in the class and in your notebook only don't have two notebooks rough and fair notebook nahi एक ही नोटबुक बनाई है और उसी में नोट्स जब आप क्लास में जा रहे हैं मैम या टीचर कुछ भी बोल रहा है या बोल रहे हैं फटाफट से नोट्स वहीं पे बना लीजिए हैव शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स अब यहाँ पे शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स हैंडी आएंगे राइटिंग इन योर ओन वर्ड्स हैंडी आएगा जो भी बता रहे हैं वो कुछ नहीं लिखना है जो इंपॉर्टेंट है बस वो नोट करना है सो राइट डायरेक्टली इन योर क्लास ओनली एंड डोंट ब्यूटिफाई इट सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट राइट द नोट ओनली आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टॉपिक न वॉट हैपन्स we are writing let's suppose a teacher is dictating and teacher is, teacher is writing five different points in a big big sentence and because we don't understand the topic we will just be blindly copying the content without knowing whether we have an understanding about that or not so please do not repeat this mistake if you are doing it understand the topic and then only write it in your notes when you're doing this you will be able to write in your own words and you will be able to recall better third point right writing the notes on pages this is a habit i have seen with various students right so many students will be carrying those beautiful white pages and like ha ha hum isme likhenge but what happens eventually paper milte hi nahi hai right so please make sure you are writing your notes in a notebook and not in a piece of paper because there are chances that, that you might lose the paper once you are really really need it last but most important point copying everything directly from the textbook while making the notes what we do is that we have a textbook open and what we do ha huh, beautifully we'll start copying everything which is there in our textbook this is the worst mistake that we can do while making the notes and we should definitely definitely avoid it agar hame likhna hi hai to wo to book mein hai hum kyu likh rahe hain so try to avoid copying everything from the textbook If you do all of this right I'm sure your notes will be super awesome and those notes will be helping you to ace your examination and clear your examination so everyone with this I will end my session I hope that all of you have find this session really very help helpful and please make sure to write down in the comment section below and tell us that what we can do more for you what are the topics that you are looking for apart from our classes we understand that you need help in different areas altogether so please write down in the comment section and tell us that how you felt about this video and what are the other topics that we can bring on our channel so that we are helping you in the whole journey of becoming a doctor or a engineer so please make sure everyone to hit the like button for the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we'll be meeting really very soon and till that time do take care of yourself and keep on learning with us bye bye